Good morning, guys. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. <sighs> I made uh, poor choices last night in sleeping, as I often do. Um, I was supposed to be in bed by like and asleep by, I don't know, midnight, one o'clock, and uh, yeah, 3 30. Playing a video game, just not watching the time. And I told my coworkers I'd meet them down here at uh, 10. And I wanted to grab breakfast, so yeah, I got five, five and a half hours sleep at, at most. Um, but I've done worse things in my life. Uh, <laughs> we're going to walk around New York, I think, today with no real uh, definite plan, uh, which is probably not the best way to approach New York City. But um, yeah, it'll be good. My cruise is awesome, and yeah, it'll be a nice day. Did I say happy Vlogmas? It's day, what day is it? Is it 19? I'm not quite sure. But um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bingo, that's breakfast. I got it to go because it's actually faster. That's a secret tip here at the hotel. It's faster to go. All right, so one of my coworkers is here. She'll be here, she'll be here. Was that you that said you're awake? No, Oh, all right, she'll be here. Um, so breakfast was a success, as you can see. Boom, right there. Oh, very greasy. Um, very good. Something I don't think I told you yesterday is Happy Hanukkah. Yesterday was the first day of Hanukkah, so if you celebrate Happy Hanukkah, uh, you know I hardly celebrate anything, but uh, I just do love a Christmas tree, I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, all right, so waiting for one of my coworkers. Um, I'm tempted to get coffee here, but it is five dollars for a drip coffee so no i'll get something in the city i'll we'll see you on the way all right we made it to new york marcus is right there is wave at michelle there she is where's the whoa where did i lose marcus already where'd he go oh there he is it's like where's waldo i think the tree is down here the uh, Rockefeller Center. I don't know why I'm surprised it's this busy. It is crazy down here. This feels like a Godzilla movie with everyone running down the streets. So, hi, we um, got tickets to take the train into town and uh, then realized we would have had to wait an hour for the train, which was not gonna happen. So uh, we just jumped in an Uber uh, the funniest thing, and I wish I had been filming it, was there was a traffic jam, and our Uber driver literally hopped a curb, jumped over a median to drive down the other side of the road. It was like something out of an action film. It was very funny, but very effective. But here we are. It's uh, Radio City Music Hall right there. And the crowds. There's the tree. It is so pretty. Ah, oh, what was that big artificial thing we saw earlier then? Look how pretty that is. It's a monster. Look at the star. That is so pretty. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Look how huge that is. That's insane. And there's the 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 uh, golden sculpture that you always see on TV. Look at that. That is very cool. Now we were see these little houses over. Oh, look at that! So look at her go. Wow, these little houses up here. There looks like there's people eating or drinking something in there. So we're gonna check that out. That is just so cool. Look at that. That is so cool. All right. It's very crowded, <laughs> you know, and I think all of us are walking around going, huh, what should we do? Where should we go? And there's nowhere to go. <laughs> um, that looks like a log jam right there. Huh. This is the storefront for FAO Schwartz. Look at Puss in Boots. Look. This buddy gives me those eyes. Mm. Cutie pie. I don't know what this line is for. 
What's the line for, you think? Uh, F.A.O. Schwartz. Oh, F.A.O. Schwartz. Oh, yeah. God, help me. Oh, no. Yeah, that's what all the Oh, no. Oh, they are cute, though. We are under, I guess, top of the rock, whatever building that is, the Comcast building. That looks like a, a dining experience. It's a maze. Oh, look, 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 look. It's like a goldfish bowl of people. I love your coat. Thank you. Oh, you are fabulous. Look, it's like a goldfish bowl of people swimming around. Look how cute they are holding hands. I want a boyfriend. <laughs> and then I want to break up with them after Christmas. <laughs> Look, there's a penguin you can hold on to in case he can't skate. How cute! And there's the tree. That is fantastic. We're at Potbelly Subs. It's a very cool looking Potbelly. As you can see, it's very different than the typical chain. There's six seats in the entire place. Uh, Shella and Marcus have secured three of them for us. They like wrangled them out of other people's butts, I swear. Uh, but um, yeah, we are very excited to eat because I think at least me and Shella, I think are dissolving into hangry. So it's a good thing we're here. And um, yeah, looks good. Looks like the food is delicious. So, <sighs> all we need is coffee. Look at that cool kinetic sculpture up on the ceiling here at Rockefeller Center. Which way do we go? Hmm, that way? Or well, that way? This looks like chaos. This looks like nobody's out there. I think that looks like the best way to go. What do you think? All right. And here is Grand Central Station. There's Shella and Marcus over there. Pretty tree. Let me cross over there. <laughs> I wasn't filming for any of that. Oh my God, I was I was so eloquent. Ta da! There are some of the constellations on the in the ceiling here, and from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Making fun of me, yes. Those are my coworkers who I was saying such nice things about, right? <laughs> and they're being. I love your vlog, Stephen. <laughs> As I was saying, the ceiling here is uh, painted with constellations you probably can't see. There you go. But apparently, they are supposed to be painted backwards so they could be seen as if God was looking down through them or something. So, really neat. That's what I understand. Correct me if I'm wrong. But we are in Grand Central Station or Grand Central Terminal, as it's more accurately called. It's huge. Those windows are quite grand. We decided just to come down here and walk around for a bit. It's a relatively famous clock right there. Okay. Pretty cool. But we were going to head down to Times Square. There's a 42nd Street entrance or exit. And then there's this holiday fair pop-up shop that I'm forcing my coworkers to go into. I hate Christmas. She hates Christmas. <laughs> I love Christmas. Just fun little pop-up shop stuff. Oh, look. Oh, wow. Glass cat toys. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Look, 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 look. Look at the cats. All these beautiful things and no pottery. Hmm. Pretty stuff. All right. There they are. A lot of glass, no pottery. It's a actually surprisingly nice day. It's a little cold, a little cold, but it is beautiful. There's the Empire State Building. And one of my favorite buildings, I have to figure out what it's called. It's black, black, black with gold accents. It's very cool. There's a Christmas market over there. I want to go in, but honestly, it would take me 45 minutes to walk through and I wouldn't buy anything. So it's not a smart thing to do. We're going to head down that way to uh, Times Square. There is a Target in Times Square. How crazy is that? 
we're in here primarily to get warm. But, oh, well, that, that startled me. Some shoes. Shoes. All right. Yay. There's exotic port authority right there. We're heading towards Penn Station. All right, so we had to stop into Muji. Is anyone familiar with Muji? I'm like addicted to Muji. I never use anything I buy here, but I love Muji. <laughs> it's fun stuff. You get up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you get up, shall I? <laughs> Come on, you got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Here she is, Miss America, Lady of Grace and Poise. <laughs> We are heading off to Penn Station, but I looked up and there's a great little shot of the Empire State Building. You've seen it before. You've been with me here before. But we are very chilly and ready to go back to the hotel. So we're heading to Penn Station where we'll catch the train back because we still have our return tickets. There's a nice little lounge area with power outlets and there's even a Starbucks over there in this little waiting area at Penn Station. All you have to do is show your ticket and you can rest comfortably here with fantastic people. Really amazing, engaging people. <laughs> Heading back to the hotel. It's not a pretty day, but for some reason the colors are very nice. Look at those geese. There must be a hundred of them, if not more. How crazy. Hey, geese. All right, back. It's too cold to look at you. Bye. Oh my goodness. I would say home sweet home, but I'm only here for two more hours. Let's get up by the window where I can see you. It's fumbling for the lights is not fun. Oh, that's a nice little sunset kind of thing. There's the airport right over there. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, wow. I'm tired. I have walked. We walked a lot today. We walked all over the city today. Um, and we have, to, we have a five and a half hour flight back to Las Vegas tonight. So we are hopefully going to be able to take naps before we have to leave. Um, our shuttle leaves at uh, 6.40 in the evening, so I hope to be down there by 6.35. Uh, it is it is 4.21 right now, so I should be able to lay down for at least an hour at least, so I'm going to do my best to do that. Um, we did hit a Target while we were in um, New York, and I bought myself... A little treat, nothing terribly expensive. I bought two of them because you have to buy two of everything, you know, when you're a flight attendant. One for home, one for away. It's a cuticle cream by Burt's Bees. My nails are paper thin, and one of them just keeps cracking right down the middle. So I'm going to see if uh, this doesn't help me um, keep my nails more flexible and less likely to break, because they break all the time. But blah, 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 complain, complain, complain. Uh, I will see you guys later. I'm gonna try and take a nap, and uh, I'll see you next at the airport. All right, so we are downstairs in the lobby, ready for the shuttle. My uh, smartwatch wouldn't charge. Ta-da! And you need a working watch to go to work. But I always have a backup watch in my bag. In this case, it's an Invicta watch that I've had pretty much since I started working here, but I've only kept it in my suitcase most of the time. So pulling out the backup watch, it's an automatic, so it doesn't have a battery or anything. You just have to like move it to wind it up, but I'm gonna miss uh, not having a smartwatch stuff because you know, it's very convenient for timers and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so I'm back to a dumb watch until I can either find out if this is gonna be able to be fixed or until I replace it somehow. But. Back to a dumb watch. Wop, wop. 
Well, for a change, I did not get randomed, but Charlotte and Marcus did. So I'm going to hang out, wait for them. We have about 20 minutes before our check-in, so they have plenty of time, but uh, yay me. Hey guys, how are ya? Welcome back to Las Vegas. Welcome back to my car, Shimi. What a long day I have had today. Uh, as you saw, we went into the city today, me, Shella, and Marcus, and oh my God, I love those kids. <laughs> kids. They're adults. Marcus is, I think he's 23, but he's got such a good head on his shoulders. He's so, he's so like responsible, thoughtful, mindful, just a good, good guy. Really good guy. And Shella, I love her. Oh my God. She's gorgeous. Of course. She's a little irreverent. She can give a joke and take a joke. Um, but she's just like, she's just a riot. I love her. And, uh, if you didn't see if you didn't see a, uh, a short clip in this video of her trying <laughs> trying to get out of a beanbag chair at, uh, yeah, it was just, it just hysterical. What a fantastic day. Really a lot of fun. Um, I got a 45 minute nap before I had to go to work, which was really much more refreshing than I was expecting it to be. Uh, usually naps like that make me more tired, but um yeah, got to the airport. I was the only person not random. Exciting. Uh, the flight back to Las Vegas was five hours and 15 minutes. We arrived about a half hour early. We were supposed to take like five hours and 45 minutes, which like just seemed like devastating to me. But um, 5.15, we could handle it. Um, the flight was great, great, great passengers, wonderful passengers. Uh, this was another case of where I actually got a little bit of applause during my announcements, which is kind of fun. I really don't even know what I say. Um, I'm just, you know, I speak with love, humor, respect, and I tell them what they need to know and what they need to do. I use all of my safety issues and you know, housekeeping issues and all that stuff. I just seem to deliver it with a, a smile and a couple laughs. One of the jokes, I kind of tuck a couple one-liners in there. The only one I really remember using was uh, really well received today was um, I'll say something like, hey, all right, who, so who's taking a nap today? You know, a five, and a, a five hour, 15 minute flight. Who's taking a nap on the flight today? Everyone's hands go up. I'm like, you're my favorites. Thank you so much. Uh, but a pro tip, a pro tip from a flight attendant, buckle your seatbelt over your blanket. If you're gonna cover yourself up with a blanket or something, buckle the seatbelt over your blanket so I don't have to wake you up when the seatbelt sign comes on. Cause trust me, my ex-husband will tell you, you don't wanna wake up next to this face. And they all laugh. And cause you know, a gay ex-husband is hysterical. Um, but, um, I don't really re remember what else I said, but I mean, these people ate it up really, really, really nice. Um, yeah, just a fantastic day. Really, really nice day. I just stopped into McDonald's, you know, midnight's the perfect time to eat McDonald's. So I've got some fries and a little double cheeseburger there. So I'll be, um, I'll be noshing on that before I get home. Um, I got, before I... Before I leave, I want to show you this. I don't want to show you my ID for work. I got a pile of cards and packages here. One of which, I think it's this, I ordered for myself. And I really even forget what it is. Uh, but the rest of it is from you guys. And there are a couple packages that I have to pick up tomorrow because the post office was closed that are from you guys as well. So I'm going to wait to open these until tomorrow when I can get the other packages and open them all at the same time. But I want to thank you in advance. It's just very sweet. Um, you know, I am a very solitary person and to open up my mailbox and find like cards and letters and little packages that are probably for the cats. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what makes me happy. Um, it's just really overwhelming. It, it really is. It makes this like the best season ever. So thank you in advance. Uh, and lastly, lastly, I don't, I haven't mentioned it as often as I would like to. I am giving away a Sabbath heat little mini portable oven. You know what I'm talking about. Um, all you have to do is do something nice or generous or thoughtful for somebody who's maybe having a difficult time. Someone who's, you know, less, less, um, 
has less than you do. And that might be uh, donating some money or even just some towels or blankets to a, an animal shelter or reading to the blind, I don't know, or, you know, visiting a, a nursing home and, you know, visiting with people or whatever, doing something nice, thoughtful, kind, generous, whatever. Doesn't have to include money, um, but do something nice and then come to any of my videos for December, my Vlogmas videos. Leave a comment below letting me know what you did. This is not a time for humility. I would like to inspire other people to do nice things. Um, and uh, I think it's January 1st. I will make an announcement as to who will win because I'll just pick for, at randomly one of the people who um, entered by doing something nice. So there you go. I'm going to let you guys go and I will see you tomorrow. Fly safe. Bye.